Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome to the first episode of the Roma career mode series. This is the first time I'm doing a career mode in the Serie A on the channel, so I'm really excited to get this series started off. If you guys are excited as well, make sure to drop a like on the video. 100 likes would be awesome and also subscribe if you are new around here. Also follow me on Twitter to stay updated with the channel. Of course, I'm super excited for the series. First time doing a Serie A career mode. You guys voted for Roma and there you go, you guys have a Roma career mode series. So the first thing we will be doing in this series is having a look at the squad we have here at our disposal. As you can see in that left wing position we have El Sharabi alongside Perotti as backup. I'm looking to bring in another left winger because well I'm not too happy with Perotti. I might sell him besides that El Sharabi is actually on loan from AC Milan. Up front here we have Jekyll and Totti right now and I'm looking to bring in another striker for sure. Again you guys can let me know your transfer suggestions down in the comment section below. I'm pretty happy with my right wing because I have players like Salah and Etubi. I've recalled Itube from his loan at Bournemouth because he's just such a good player and I really want to play him in this series. He'll be back up to Salah. We also have Falk, another winger that I'm looking to sell because we already have Salah and Itube. There's no way we will be able to give him game time, so he will be sold. In midfield, we have Rajana and Golan, Strutman and Zarossi. We will be selling Pjanic because in real life he joined Juventus. Now, I know some of you guys might want me to keep him, but just to keep this career mode a bit realistic, I think it makes sense selling Pjanic, but we will bring in a quality replacement for him you guys can leave your suggestions down in the comment section below here we are also going to sell Seydou Kita here because I'm not too convinced with him he's a bit too old but we do have good players like Vainka and Uchan on the bench who can play in those positions providing backup in left back position we have Digne but I will need another left back so you can let me know which left back to sign in the comment section below in the center back position we have Rudiger and Manolas really good center backs and on the bench we have Castan yes but I think we'll need another center back because I don't think three are enough we are in the Champions League of course so we need squad depth our right back position is pretty stacked we have Florenzi we have Maicon and we have Torosides I'm looking to sell one of either Torosides or Maicon probably Torosides because I really like Maicon in this game even though he's only 77 rated some of his stats are just insane our bench is pretty decent but I still think we'll need to make a few more transfers before that guys let's have a look at our budget so we have 32.7 million and of course 179,000 euros in our wages I have released a few players from their contracts who I don't think are good plays I don't even remember which plays they are but I have done that you know because I think you know they were like 52 or 53 rated it doesn't make sense to keep them anyways guys as I showed you those are the plays I've put on the transfer list the big one among them are Miral and Pjanic and Falk but the reason I'm selling Pjanic is only because in real life he joined Juventus no other reason guys I really like Pjanic in this game these are our objectives for the season qualify for the Champions League which is achievable reach the semi-finals in the domestic cup again achievable and of course reach the quarterfinals in the Champions League and I think that is achievable as well. It will be difficult, but I think we will be able to do it. So, guys, we are taking part in the preseason tournament. Everton, Newcastle, and Marseille are in our group. That's a decent group, but I will be simming most of the games until the final. In fact, all of the games until the final because I don't think it makes sense playing those games and wasting time. Also, guys, Nine Golan is injured until the start of the season, which is a shame, but hopefully he will be ready and fit for the you know first game of the Serie A. Anyways, guys, now it's time to talk a bit about the transfers. I'm not going to make a load of transfers in today's episode. I want to see your suggestions before making too many of the transfers. So in this episode, I'm only bringing in a striker and a central midfielder. Of course, these deals might not go through, so you can still suggest your suggestions in the comment section below. And if not now, we can maybe sign them in the next transfer window. Pato is one of the plays I really want to bring in. I mean, his stats are pretty sick. I mean, he's got like 84 pace and we do need a striker with decent pace. So I think Pato would be a good signing. Apart from that, his contract is expiring. So it's a win-win for us. So I'm offering 2 million plus Falk. A player that we really don't need. Hopefully that deal can go through. Now in the midfield role is where things get a bit tough. So we're going to sell Pjanic, a quality midfielder who's 84 rated. So we need to replace him with another quality midfielder. The three players I've thought of are Marco Verratti, of course, because he's Italian, plus a quality midfielder. Claudio Marchisio, again, Italian, and of course, a fantastic midfielder. And Ivan Rakitic. Now the reason Rakitic is in there, because I think he's the closest we can get to Miral and Pjanic. Of course, Pjanic is a fantastic free kick taker. So is Rakitic. Rakitic's long shots are insane. Of course, Spanish long shots are insane. Both are very creative. I think Rakitic will be the perfect fit. Now, he might be the most 
difficult one to sign because of his, you know, 85 rated overall. And apart from that, his price is pretty high. Plus, he plays for Barcelona. But I want to go for Rakitic. So, Rakitic for me is right now my primary target. And then, of course, I'll probably go for Verratti and then Claudio Marquisio. But as you can see, guys, we're now focusing on the Pato deal. They do not want Falcon 2 million. So, what I'm doing is offering 12 million for him. I think we have the money to get that deal done, so I probably will because I really want Pato to play for us. He'll be a really good option to rotate with Dzeko and, of course, Francesco Totti. Apart from that, guys, PSG have declined the transfer offer for Marco Verratti. So what I'm doing is offering 6 million plus Pjanic and let's see what PSG come back and say. Juventus have accepted the transfer offer for Marquisio. We offer just Pjanic and they did accept that. But I'm going to wait on that because I really want to bring in Ivan Rakitic. I believe Rakitic is the best option we have to replace Miral and Pjanic, but then again, Again, it's my opinion out of all those three plays let me know in the comment section who would you sign I'm offering Pjanic plus 6 million right now for Rakitic let's see what Barcelona come back and say apart from that guys as you can see Arsenal are interested in Pjanic so maybe we could sell Pjanic to Arsenal for a big sum of money and maybe that'll help us get through that Rakitic transfer for now guys we've got a 31 and a half million offer from Arsenal for Pjanic I'm gonna just bump it up to 50 and just see what Arsenal come back with I'm pretty sure they're gonna counter it but if they do accept it it'll be freaking insane of course we are still waiting on the other deals before we can proceed for that Juventus transfer of course for Claudio Marquisio I'm not sure if I will go for him but we do win our first preseason game against Newcastle United El Sharawi scores Jekyll gets himself an injury he's going to be out for two weeks which isn't good but as it's preseason it doesn't really matter that much Chelsea have again declined the transfer offer for Alexander Pato they want 19 million I'm not willing to pay 19 million I'm going to go with 14 million let's see what they come back and say and I think Pato will be a realistic signing if you bring him in. He's already played in the Serie A for AC Milan. So it kind of makes sense for him to come back to the Serie A and try to succeed again. As you can see guys, Barcelona have rejected again an offer for Ivan Rakitic. We're now going to offer 12 million plus Pjanic. That is my last offer for Ivan Rakitic. If this gets declined, I'm not, I can't see this deal going through then. But of course, if we sell Pjanic to Barcelona, not to Barcelona, to Arsenal, it'll be a complete different thing. As you can see guys, Stoke City coming for a offer for Diego Perotti. Now, if we get a good offer for him, I'm probably going to sell him. So I've countered with 20 million. Hopefully Stoke will accept that but apart from that guys let me know any left wingers you guys have in mind so that I can go ahead and sign them in the next episode. As you can see guys we do lose to Marseille which isn't good but we still have another preseason game to try and win hopefully we will win that and as you can see guys Arsenal have accepted the 50 million value we put in for Miral and Pjanic so Pjanic will be going to Arsenal for 50 freaking million and that means we'll have the money probably to sign Ivan Rakitic and it also might help fund this Alexander Pato deal which will be awesome so 120,000 euros per week for three years. That's the deal I've offered him. Hopefully he'll accept it. And by the way, they accepted the 14 million transfer offer I put in for him, which is awesome. As you can see, he declines the contract. Apart from that, we do get the money from the Pjanic deal, which is nice. I am going to offer him another contract. Let's try that out. Important first team player, 110,000 euros per week for three years. I think he should accept that. That's a good offer. And as you can see, Stoke City as well accept the transfer offer for Diego Perotti. The transfer value we gave them was 20 million and they've ready they're ready to pay that much which is a surprise because he isn't that great of a player and I will be selling him now to Stoke City so I'll need a new left winger to bring in to cover for that left wing role maybe someone better than El Shirawi I'm not sure but you can let me know who to sign in the next episode by leaving a comment down below apart from that guys as you can see we do beat Everton which is really nice to see 2-1 which is just awesome that we beat them also guys just before this game I put in a transfer offer for Ivan Rakitic of 40 million let's see what Barcelona come back and say as you can see guys the Perotti deal has gone through and that means we now have an extra 17 million in our budget let me know which left winger to sign as you can see guys I'm putting in a 45 freaking million offer for Ivan Rakitic that is my freaking last offer or else I won't be able to sign Ivan Rakitic apart from that guys the Pato deal is getting very difficult for us to get through because he does not want to relocate here and that means we'll have to offer him a you know bump type contract I'm offering him that 20% bonus per goal 140,000 euros per week let's see what he comes back and say I just hope he accepts this one or else we'll have to hunt for another striker now guys we'll be simming the semi-final game of the preseason tournament and we lose on penalties to buy Leverkusen Salah did score in this one but Kremer equalized and then they won on penalties very disappointing though but it still doesn't really matter that much it's just preseason so guys there won't be gameplay in this episode but in the next episode we'll have a massive game against Juventus but before that the Ivan Rakitic deal is progressing as Barcelona have accepted the transfer offer we're gonna put in 200,000 euros per week 
five years crucial first team player all the best replacement in my opinion we can find for Miral and Pjanic and as you can see another big transfer going through Pato has accepted the contract Alexander Pato is our first signing in the Roma series I'm super excited with that signing he's going to be amazing for us hopefully he'll score a lot of goals as well let's now have a look at his stats his physical attributes are absolutely insane with 85 sprint speed 87 acceleration his technical attributes are decent as well for 14 million I think he's a bargain also guys now some bad news here Francesco Totti will be retiring at the end of the season which is a shame 38 years old he's a freaking legend and I just love the guy and of course I remember his selfie celebration there in one of the games in the Serie A that was just insane was it Serie A or Champions League I don't really remember but he will be retiring at the end of the season hopefully we will be able to make this season memorable for him maybe a cup win or maybe just the Serie A win and stuff that'll be just amazing and even Rakitic has declined the offer like Pato he wants more money so we'll offer him that 220,000 euros per week 20% bonus per goal because I don't think that really makes any difference five years crucial first team player let's see what Rakitic comes back and says Ivan Rakitic will be now signing for AS Roma what a signing this is the perfect replacement for Miral and Pjanic who has now joined Arsenal absolutely insane that is Rakitic we have signed I mean what a signing that is let me know what you guys think about Rakitic to Roma is it a realistic transfer or is it just a good transfer in the game let me know down in the comment section below also guys here's an offer for Torosides I will be selling him just to get a bit more funds to fund those next three transfers we will be making in the next episode which is of course a left back a backup center back and a backup left wing or even a first team, team left winger you can let me know your suggestions down in the comment section below and that's pretty much the end of this episode in the next episode we'll get started off with some transfers we will of course move on to some games as well in today's episode we got alexander pato and of course Ivan Drakic to strengthen this team we sold Pjanic to arsenal so a lot of transfers done in today's episode next episode we'll have more transfers Right now our budget is pretty good, we have like 30 million plus about 180,000 euros per week in our wages. In the next episode we have some absolutely big games including the likes of a game against Juventus. How big is that? First, in fact second episode of the series we are going to be facing Juventus. We also have Verona in that game, Hellas Verona, that's going to be our first game of the Serie A which is going to be awesome. But that is pretty much it for the first episode of the series. Really hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you guys have, drop a like on the video, 100 likes would be absolutely insane. Make sure to subscribe if you are new around here and I will see you guys very soon for another episode of this series.